That's the crux of everything that uh, we need to do is to preserve, yes, yes. And especially to have the kupuna tell us, and oh, and I think that's a, a wonderful, important uh, phase of this whole uh, uh, culture movement. Building the oral history library with Auntie Nona was quite a wild ride. We would reach out to elders, and ask them if we could come and talk story with them about hula, about their teachers and their training. But really, you know, if you've been involved with hula, you know hula is life. And so, although we were there to talk about hula, we end up talking, of course, about everything, including their families, the changes that they witnessed given that they were born in the first decades of the 20th century, um, the language, um, their communities, just all the many things that they have witnessed, experienced um, in their lifetimes and might have something to, to share about that. We look to them for insights and wisdom and feedback, thoughts, all of those things are so valuable from our elders. And we never knew where the conversations were gonna go, specifically because each of them is different, each of them is unique, they come from different islands, families, communities, all of that. And so it was just really, really interesting. And we're so excited to be able to share this library that was built by our elders over 20 years, one tape at a time, one hour at a time. And it exists because of them. So we will be forever grateful to Auntie Nona for her vision and to all of the elders that said yes. If you're looking to do research in the Oral History Library at HPS, finding aids can be a good place to start. We've been able to develop such tools for a number of elders as well as for select public programs we presented with those elders. The finding aids are available in various online locations. From HPS's homepage at hulapreservation.org, you can reach our digital umeke full of finding aids. You can also try the Papakilo database repository at papakilodatabase.com and search the HPS subcollections. Finally, you can try the University of Hawaii's Evolve system, which has a special section for HPS materials like this. HPS's finding aids are saved as PDFs, and you can recognize them as finding aids as they will have a green cover page. You can use Adobe's built-in search capabilities to hone in on specific terms, or just get a sense of the conversation by reviewing the extensive keyword listings. If you need assistance at any time, you can always visit the HPS Archive page on our website and use the Archive Inquiry form to connect with us, or send an email to archive at hulapreservation.org. Happy researching!